the roster juggling began in earnest. Lisa Miller was there, and she filed this report. Get over here! Over, Joe! The Oilers held a fairly spirited workout. Injured goalie Bill Ranford was in the nets, but Norm Foster and Peter Ng did the lion's share of the work. And there was some line juggling. Vince Danfoos and Joe Murphy were reunited with Mark Lamb. A few weeks back, Danfoos had a four-goal night with Lamb as his center. Do you think that um, other players will perhaps start to pick up their socks when they see somebody like Essa go down? Will they try that much harder? Yeah, we're going to have to because right now we're in a, a battle probably till the end of the year to make the playoffs. And, uh, there's uh, four teams within about five points uh, of each other, and uh, uh, we're going to have to pick it up. Everybody's going to have to do some extra things uh, uh, to compensate the, the loss of Essa. The Oilers may be in a rebuilding year, but it is because of that youth and rebuilding format that at least one veteran member of the Oilers thinks they can overcome the injury to Essa Tikkanen. We've got probably more uh, depth this year than we've had. Five solid lines. There's lots of guys that are uh, that have been waiting patiently, trying to get their chance and play. And some Oilers have had lots of opportunity to play, but haven't made the most of their chances. Craig Simpson has scored just 11 goals. All but two have come away from the Coliseum. So heading out on a four-game road trip minus a big gun may be just what the doctor ordered. You don't ever try to look at it as pressure. I think you look at it as opportunity. And, and now, uh, you know, with Tick gone, you're going to get a chance to play a lot of situations. And, uh, you know, this is a time where we need it. And whenever you need it, it's, a, it's an exciting challenge and an exciting time. Challenging, exciting, youthful exuberance. Those are all factors the coaching staff will be counting on in the weeks to come. Lisa Miller, CFRN Eyewitness Sports. Well, things certainly changed for the better for one former Oiler last night. Glenn Anderson came up with a terrific game for Toronto and looked like the dashing hell for leather player that he used to be a few years back with the Oilers. Certainly some of the credit last night, though, has to go to former a former Calgary Flame. Take a look. With the Oilers down 2 to nothing in the third period against St. Louis, Doug Gilmore sets up Anderson. Later in the period, Anderson and Gilmore get the assists on the tying goal. Then in overtime, Anderson sets up Dave Ellip. The Leafs beat the Blues 3-2. The chemistry that's happening on the ice is uh, a little better. The new acquisitions have uh, improved their hockey team, and it seems to uh, help my play out also. Anderson, who now plays for the Leafs, has five points in the last three games, or if you like, since Doug Gilmore actually joined the Toronto team. Well, certainly.